I wanted to touch on all this stuff that's going on in Florida as of late with black history and culture. Apparently, the NAACP in Florida is trying to put a travel ban on black people coming to Florida and is calling for their big national headquarters to get on board. They're claiming that Florida is a racist place and that black people should stay away. when well, most of the planet is a racist place and under the system of racism, white supremacy. And furthermore, why should black people stay away from anything when we are the original people of the planet and everywhere is ours in Rome? We shouldn't run from anything, but stand up for everything that's ours. This isn't in days of old where black people got the short end of the stick anymore. We on the rise. And who put the NAACP in charge of black issues anyway? They're not. They're for the interests and services of all minority people. And they aren't truly for black power, upliftment, and unity. They're even against reparations for descendants of slaves, which is ludicrous. The NAACP is full of sellouts. Now moving on to this Ron DeSantos piece of crap trying to stop African-American studies from being taught in the schools. This push now to silence black history is all because their history is becoming unveiled. And the further they go back into history, the blacker the planet becomes. For many years, this planet was nothing but black. They can't just limit our history to slavery. Our people are waking up, getting knowledge of self. But to the family out there, educate black children in the home. Education starts in the home first and foremost. Why would you expect your enemy to properly educate your children first and foremost when it serves them not to do so? But my advice to people out there, and especially in Florida, is homeschool your kids. True education and black history starts in the home first. The only thing I agree with Ron DeSantos on is banning woke culture and queer theory. I don't want gender identity and the question of their original state of being being taught to the children. And furthermore, stop trying to tie homosexuality to black culture when it's not our original state of being. The word woke has been hijacked and from what I gather it's used to say many different things nowadays. When being woke used to mean waking up to a knowledge of self of the divinity that lies in the black man and woman. And woke is now being used in politics to everything from gender identity to queer theory. And we don't want these types of things being taught to the kids. Anything that causes kids to question what they were created to be is wicked. And the people that are pushing this narrative, white and black, are wicked in my opinion. And also the push for the black and black history, African-American studies, is not to have children now see just how devilish slavery was in the transatlantic slave trade, which is our holocaust. Nowadays, I'm noticing they want to minimize the role of slavery and not let kids know about it, especially not white kids, to let them know the injustices that their ancestors had done. They want to suppress the truth. But even if African-American studies is taken out of the schools, parents educate your kids. True black history starts on the home front. It starts at home first. And if you're not educated on everything when it comes to black history, educate yourself so you will in turn be able to educate your kids. But one thing for certain, two things for sure, they would never be able to silence truth. Truth will always reign supreme. Truth is on the rise. Peace.